Have you ever stared at your textbook for hours only to realize you can't remember a single thing you read? What if I told you that your problem isn't intelligence or focus, but rather the fundamental way you approach learning itself? The greatest minds in history, from Einstein to Feynman, didn't succeed because they were born geniuses. They succeeded because they discovered a mental framework that virtually forces information into long-term memory. Has this ever happened to you? You spend weeks preparing for an exam or presentation, highlighting notes and rereading chapters, only to find your mind going completely blank when it matters most. That frustrating gap between studying and truly knowing is where most of our educational efforts collapse. But before we begin, please hit the like button and let me know where in the world you're watching from today. It's always fascinating seeing who's joining us from around the world. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today, I'm unveiling the revolutionary memory technique developed by Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman a man who could explain the most complex quantum concepts to complete beginners and make it stick. His approach wasn't about studying harder, it was about fundamentally rewiring how your brain processes and stores information. The secret begins with something counterintuitive, forgetting. Everything you think you know about traditional studying methods, most of us were taught that learning means highlighting text cramming facts and passively absorbing information. But what if those very methods are why we forget 90% of what we study within days? Stay with me until the end, because what you're about to discover might completely transform your relationship with learning forever. Feynman's technique starts with a radical first step, taking complex information and simplifying it as if you were explaining it to a curious eight-year-old child. Imagine breaking down concepts like photosynthesis, blockchain technology, or even quantum mechanics into language so simple and concrete that a child could grasp it. When you force yourself to use plain language and everyday analogies, something magical happens in your neural pathways. The moment you struggle to find simple words for complex ideas, is precisely when your brain identifies the gaps in your understanding. Those momentary hesitations aren't failures. They're the exact points where genuine learning begins. This simplification process transforms abstract symbols on a page into natural vocabulary that becomes part of how you think. Information stops being something external you're trying to memorize and starts becoming integrated into your thought patterns. But simplification is just the beginning. The second transformative step happens when you verbalize your understanding out loud, teaching the concept to someone else or even an empty chair. This act of vocalization forces your brain to organize information logically, creating stronger neural connections with each explanation. What often happens next reveals the true power of this method. As you teach, you stumble. You forget key elements. You can't connect certain ideas smoothly. Most people see these struggles as evidence they haven't studied enough. But what if these stumbling blocks are actually your greatest teachers? If you're passionate, about unlocking your mind's full learning potential. Hit that subscribe button now and join our community of people who refuse to settle for ordinary results. Every moment of hesitation is precisely identifying where your understanding falls short. And only when you see the hole can you fill it. This is where the true transformation begins. Once you've identified these knowledge gaps through teaching, you must return to your source material with entirely new eyes. But here's the hidden truth. Most educators won't tell you. You're not just rereading information, you're completely rebuilding your mental framework from the ground up. When you revisit concepts after attempting to explain them, your mind approaches the material differently. 
You're no longer passively consuming information. You're actively hunting for the precise pieces that will fill those gaps you've discovered. This mindset shift turns learning from a chore into an investigation. Imagine taking complex economic theories and translating them into stories about trading baseball cards or turning abstract physics equations into visual metaphors about water flowing downhill. Behind the scenes, your brain is literally reorganizing itself. Neural pathways strengthen, connections multiply, and what once seemed impossibly complex begins to feel intuitive. This journey from confusion to clarity doesn't happen during those late-night cramming sessions. The real revelations emerge during these moments of reflection and rebuilding. Each time you cycle through this process of teaching and returning to the source, your understanding doesn't just increase incrementally, it experiences exponential growth. Now, I want to go even deeper into this topic by exploring what happens when we introduce the fourth element of Feynman's technique, creative repetition. But let me be clear, this isn't about mindlessly reviewing flashcards or reciting definitions. That kind of mechanical repetition is precisely what makes traditional learning so ineffective and frankly, soul-crushing. Instead, this approach asks you to play with knowledge, to treat information like a multifaceted jewel that reveals different aspects when viewed from different angles. Let's say you're learning about photosynthesis. First, you might explain it using the analogy of a factory converting raw materials into energy. Then, you could describe it as a solar power system. Finally, you might frame it as a chemical recipe. What's happening in your brain during this creative exploration is remarkable. Your mind doesn't store information in isolated files. It creates vast networks of associations. When you present the same concept through different metaphors, stories and contexts, you're building multiple neural pathways to the same knowledge. This redundancy doesn't just help you remember, it fundamentally changes how deeply you understand. This playful approach triggers something else too, pleasure. When learning feels like creative exploration rather than forced obligation, your brain releases dopamine, the same neurochemical involved in reward and motivation. This is why children learn so quickly through play. They're not just memorizing, they're experiencing the joy of discovery. The impact of this approach becomes even more powerful when we examine what happens at the moment of error. Because contrary to everything most educational systems have taught us, mistakes aren't failures. They're the essential ingredients of mastery. If you're noticing a shift in how you think about your own learning journey while reading this, type neural pathways forming in the comments. When you attempt to explain a concept and stumble, most people experience a flash of embarrassment or frustration. That emotional response is so deeply ingrained that we instinctively avoid situations where we might be wrong. But this avoidance is precisely what prevents breakthrough learning from ever taking place. What if we completely flip the script on this instinctual reaction? What if mistakes weren't failures at all, but instead precise diagnostic tools revealing exactly where your understanding needs reinforcement? This perspective shift transforms learning from a pass-fail exercise into a journey of continuous discovery. Each error becomes a compass, pointing directly to the gaps in your knowledge map. Consider this real-world scenario. You're explaining probability theory and suddenly can't articulate. Why independent events remain unaffected by previous outcomes. That stumbling point isn't random. It's your mind highlighting exactly where the weak neural connection exists. Instead of glossing over it with embarrassment, lean into that moment with genuine curiosity. Ask yourself, what specifically caused me to get this wrong? This single question activates a different part of your brain, turning judgment into investigation. Behind the scenes, something fascinating happens. When you approach 
errors with curiosity instead of judgment, you're rewiring your emotional relationship with learning itself. The fear response diminishes, and your cognitive resources focus entirely on building bridges across those knowledge gaps. Each mistake becomes not just accepted, but valued as an essential ingredient in your learning recipe. But let's be honest about something that's often missing from conversations about learning techniques. None of this works without disciplined effort. The uncomfortable truth is that mastery requires work, consistent, challenging, sometimes tedious work. The brain, like any muscle, needs resistance to grow stronger. There are no shortcuts to this fundamental biological reality. The revelation comes when you realize that the Feynman technique doesn't eliminate hard work. It transforms its impact. Instead of diffused effort spread across highlighting textbooks or rereading notes, your energy becomes laser-focused on the precise areas that need. Strengthening. It's the difference between watering an entire field hoping something grows versus nurturing specific plants with exactly what they need. Think of learning as building a mental cathedral. Each time you simplify a concept, each time you teach it, each time you correct an error, you're placing another stone in the foundation. The transformation doesn't happen overnight, but brick by brick, connection by connection, your understanding becomes more solid and more beautiful. The mindset shift required here is profound. We've been conditioned to view learning as a series of achievements, grades, credentials, passing tests. But true mastery comes from viewing learning as an ongoing practice, much like meditation or athletic training. There are no finish lines, only deeper levels of understanding and connection. This journey toward mastery isn't linear. It's filled with plateaus, breakthroughs, and moments of revelation where seemingly unrelated concepts suddenly connect. In your mind, creating entirely new levels of understanding. If you've experienced one of these aha moments where concepts suddenly clicked into place, write breakthrough moment in the comments. So now you have it, the complete Feynman technique for locking anything into your long-term memory. Remember that what separates those who truly master a subject from those who merely study it isn't some innate genius, but rather a fundamental approach to how they process information. Your mind is an incredible learning machine when you give it the right inputs and challenges. If you're someone who's constantly curious about unlocking your full potential and understanding the hidden mechanics of how our minds work, you'll feel right at home on this channel. We dive deep into these transformative ideas every week, breaking down complex concepts into practical wisdom you can apply immediately. I'd love to know you're part of this journey. Type, my learning is transformed, in the comments so. I know we're connected on this path together. Your engagement helps me understand what topics matter most to this community of lifelong learners we're building. And that simple click on the like button tells me to keep creating content that challenges conventional thinking about how we learn and grow. I've prepared a video right here that explores how to apply these exact learning principles to master a new language in record time, even if you've struggled with language learning before. Click and continue with me over there to see how these same techniques create remarkable results in a completely different domain. I think you'll be surprised by just how quickly your mind can adapt when given the right framework. See you there.